Microsoft has several task management tools, and it's not always very clear on which one you should use in which scenario. So today we're going to talk about the different task management tools available to you and why you might use one over the other in a different scenario. Effective task management makes us more focused and productive. Having your tasks spread across multiple tools, which is happening more and more these days, can be frustrating and ends up causing tasks to fall through the cracks. It also slows us down because we have to view multiple places to find out what's due, what's assigned to us, etc. Microsoft has a number of tools accessible and easy for the everyday user to improve your task management on a personal level, also with group level if you're working with a team. So let's get into some of the most popular ones today. We're going to take a look at Microsoft To-Do, Microsoft Planner, Microsoft Lists, and the newest one, which is Tasks in Teams, and also how these tools are going to integrate tasks for you across applications so that you don't have to look for your tasks in multiple places. All right, the first app that we're going to get into today is Microsoft To Do. I find this app extremely helpful. It's really great for granular task management. It manages your personal tasks, but it also integrates with Planner so that you can really see all of your tasks that are assigned to you in one place. So this is available on the desktop version, so I always have it open on my computer, but there's also a really nice mobile app so that you can have it with you on the go, especially helpful if you're using this more for personal reasons outside of work. Um, it's a quick and easy way to access those tasks. So let's get into a little bit about what this looks like and how it's best used. So you have all of your tasks. If I look at the app here, um, these down here are personal lists. So I can have work lists. I could create personal lists. Um, and then up here is what I, like the assigned to you tab is everything that's assigned to you through Microsoft Planner. And then planned is everything that has a date associated to it. So here's where you can really organize your schedule. I can plan what I'm going to get done today, what I'm going to do tomorrow. I can at a glance see what's due later this week. So as long as you're assigning due dates to tasks while you're creating them, they'll show up in a schedule for you. And if you have a list, like if I take this personal list, I don't have dates on there. Well, just one of them. What I can do is at the beginning of the day, review all of my to-dos. If I right click, it gives you options to add it to different lists. So nobody does well viewing all of their tasks in one massive list. So the best way to do to organize those is to get them into bite-sized pieces. So I might see one thing, um, I know I need to do this one today. Um, and you know what, this one too needs to get done today. Uh, this one I want to mark as important. And then I can have my customized lists available to me here. So I can see what's planned again, I can see what's assigned to me, and most importantly, I can see my day. So if I wanna start my day by viewing all of my tasks in to-do, so that's gonna gather what's assigned to me across both to-do and planner, my personal ones, my work ones, and create what do I wanna focus on today? And that really sets anyone up for success. It's a smaller, manageable list of tasks that feels achievable, and you know who doesn't feel good when they mark them off? Uh, the other benefit of To Do is that it integrates with Outlook. So if you've in the past used Outlook tasks, this has really evolved into To Do. If you flag an email in your Outlook, that's going to show up here in the To Do app. So if I see an email in my Outlook that I need to follow up on later, I'm going to hit that little red flag. And then when I'm working on my day or when I'm just reviewing what my tasks are in the app, if I just click uh, flagged email, that's going to show me the emails that I've flagged. And if you mark them done here or in Outlook, they'll uh, speak to each other and they'll show up done in both places. So if you're a fan of flagging your emails in Outlook to come back to later, this is a great way to manage those. Uh, as we all know, emails get buried and sometimes we might not, you know, scroll through to find those flags and this is a great way to stay on top of that. The next tool that we're going to talk about is Microsoft Planner. Microsoft Planner is your go-to tool for lightweight project management. So it's not going to provide more of the uh, in-depth enterprise project management tools that, say, uh, Microsoft Project has. But for the everyday user or for any users at all, groups of teams working together, Microsoft Planner is a great tool. Microsoft Planner is based on Office 365 groups and permissions are inherited from that group. So you can set up a Microsoft Planner 
board for yourself for personal use. You don't have to associate it to a group, but most of the time uh, you'll assign your project board to the group, the particular group associated to it, and then that way all of your permissions are automatically inherited. If you already set up perhaps a Microsoft team or an Office 365 group for a project um, that you're working on with a team, then those people will automatically be on your uh, Microsoft Planner board. So the way that Planner displays your tasks are with simple cards set up into columns that you're going to customize to however works best for your team. So let's take a little bit of a look of what this looks like. We have just a mock project set up in here to look at it. I have columns set up by date, but Microsoft Planner is really based on Kanban boards. So if you've ever done those and it's just the three simple columns of to do, in progress, done, that's a great way to organize things as well. You're going to change depending on how big your project is or who the people are working on it with you and how they like to see things displayed. So this one, we have the dates on the top. You can just move and drop cards easily. So if you're running behind on something, I'm going to finish it next week. It's just a quick drag and drop. And it's very user friendly, so it doesn't matter if you have project managers on your team or not. Anybody can go in, click if it's done. You can see at a, at a glance the uh, customizations that the cards offer you. I really like adding subtasks because they'll show up on the card, and that way if you finish something partially, you can make that task go away without the card going away completely. Uh, you can see at a glance who's assigned to which task, the due date. If you assign a date to a task, it is going to show up in your Microsoft to-do. So Planner does have a lot of integrations with other Microsoft applications. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But overall, it's just a really lightweight project management tool that is great if you have a group uh, of coworkers or really anyone that is going to be collaborating on a project. Planner also provides different views to view uh, your tasks and view the project as a whole. So if you're providing status updates or reports to any project stakeholders or even you want to review with the project team on a regular basis, you can go right over to charts and Planner has uh, an at-a-glance view of your tasks. You can view the status and there's different colors for, I can quickly see what's late, what's in progress, how many are done, uh, how many are coming up, and what the priority level is. Down here too, you can see if, you know, maybe we have a particular team member that's overloaded and I can tell quickly. It basically is a quick project management tool for any team to view status and provide updates on what they're working on. If you like the calendar view, you can also click on schedule. And then as long as you're assigning dates to your tasks, they're going to show up here in your calendar. So you can view what's going on this week, what's coming up next week. And again, it's just a great tool to use together with your team that you're working on with to, to stay on top of your tasks. Microsoft Planner also integrates seamlessly with Microsoft Teams. So as Microsoft Teams is becoming more and more of the hub for everyday work, you can basically manage all of chat and collaboration about your project without ever leaving the Teams application. So what we like to do here is just add Planner as a tab. Uh, within your team. So if we look here at just, a, again, a fake team, you just select planner from the apps options that it gives you, and then it will pull up the board that is associated to your group um, within that team in Microsoft Teams if you created it over in planner, or you can create it right here within Microsoft Teams, and it's going to show up in planner. So here, that way, if you're talking about a project, you've got posts, you're collaborating, your team can just click the top tab and view the planner board. So there's really no excuse for anyone to not know what's going on with the project. And it's an easy way for them to see it without accessing a different application. Some of the pitfalls of Microsoft Planner are that it doesn't integrate with Microsoft Lists. So if you're using that for some sort of associated task management, those tasks aren't going to show up in Planner. There are some downfalls too with some of the notifications. If someone comments on a task, there's not really an easy, clean way to get notified of that. The one other downfall of Planner is that it does have limitations. Uh, Microsoft doesn't want to cannibalize its uh, bigger project management tool, which is Microsoft Project. So if you like Gantt charts, if you like dependencies, if you like more enterprise level project management tools that you might be used to for larger scale projects, you're not going to find them on Planner. And that is on purpose. Uh, you will need to look into Microsoft Project for those things.
The next app that we're going to talk about is Microsoft Lists. This is probably the newest one in terms of task management tools or applications that Microsoft has that are referred to as task management tools. And this one really is based, it's basically an upgraded version of what has been known as SharePoint Lists. Similar to Planner, you can create a list uh, for your personal use or you can associate it to a group. Um, and then when you're on a SharePoint site, there is a nice list web part where it will just nicely integrate the list you created in list to your SharePoint site. Um, some of the benefits of Microsoft Lists is that it's a clean, flat structure to view and track items. So the main thing with Microsoft Lists is that it's often referred to as Microsoft's uh, one of their task management tools that they offer. And you can use it for task management, but its best use is really in item tracking, which um, is different. And a great way to start get a feel of what it would be best for is when you create a new list to view uh, the templates that Microsoft provides, because there's things like issue tracking, asset management, uh, and itineraries. Things like that are really the best way to show in a list format and to track that way, um, opposed to a true task management tool, which I really see more as Microsoft To Do or Planner, uh, which we've already talked about. If you want more detailed information on Microsoft Lists, we have a whole video that goes into the details, its best use cases, and uh, what its features are. So we'll throw that in the cards up above so that you can view that if you want to learn more about Lists. The final task management tool that we will talk about today is Tasks. Uh, this is actually built into Microsoft Teams. It's a recent addition to Microsoft Teams. It's not a task management tool in and of itself, but it's basically Microsoft's way of making Teams more of a central hub for task management. Up until this point, To Do has really been used as the hub because for task management and granular task management, it really has been the best place that integrates your tasks across multiple applications in one place. As Microsoft has pushed for Teams to be the hub of your workday, they've added this tasks application so that you can manage your tasks across multiple apps without having to leave Microsoft Teams. So let's get into a little bit about what that looks like. So first of all, already in Microsoft Teams, if you're already using it, you should have seen this tasks application uh, show up on the side. You can add it if for some reason it didn't already. Right now it's called Tasks by Planner and To Do. My understanding is that in the future it is going to be just called Tasks in Teams. So Microsoft's going to um, streamline that. And this isn't a task management tool in and of itself. It's basically... Um, a container to show your tasks across multiple applications. So again, I don't have to leave Teams. I don't have to look into Planner and then look separately into To Do. I can look at one place to see them all. Um, with the exception being Microsoft Lists, if you are using Lists for task management, those aren't going to show up here. Um, Everything else, it, it's basically going to be a very high-level overview where you can view everything. But the advantage is that I can separate tasks by project. So if I look over here in my shared plans, I could have a whole slew of planner boards that I'm a part of, and I can select which one I want to view and view my tasks only by that project. I can view the lists up here that I've created in To Do. So if, as we started, if I've already got stuff marked as important, if I've already created um, a plan for my week, then I can just use that as my source to accomplish my tasks off all of the applications, uh, or you can view everything at once. So again, having the ability to customize the view and figure out what works best for you is what's going to make you more productive in the end. At the end of the day, I think the best task management tool is the one that you are going to use. So they all have different use cases. They all have different uh, best use cases, but the one that works the best in your workflow, the one that you like using the most, the one that works best for a team, if you're working with a team, is the one you should use. So there are different advantages. Uh, we started with to-do granular task management. I love that I can integrate my personal and professional tasks and organize your day and your week with that tool. Um, there's Microsoft Lists, which I don't love as a task management tool, but great for issue tracking, uh, itineraries, stuff like that. Um, then there's Microsoft Planner, which is a great entry-level pro project management tool that any user can use and make your projects uh, more organized. And then there's Tasks by Teams, which is probably going to be the future, and it really provides uh, an overall high-level view of all of your tasks in one place. So with the 
expansion of applications as a whole um, across Microsoft projects and other projects, it's become more and more important to have an integrated place to view everything that's assigned to you um, without having to go to each of those tasks. So the best way to stay organized and efficient is to have a task management tool that you enjoy using. If you like this topic and other modern workplace topics, we have recently launched a new podcast to really provide some better long form information to you. It's called Make Others Successful. We'll include the link down below. So go ahead and listen if you like this type of information. Um, also, please give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be uh, notified every time that we upload a new video. We've also just launched a learning center on our website. So if you like to explore content on your own, we've got it organized by different topics, uh, all modern workplace related. So we'll leave the link down below to our website as well. And you can explore uh, the topics that you may need more information on there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.